Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I'd like to talk about my desk setup that I use for software development, both personally and professionally. Uh, I made a little video here and uh, I'd like to tour you guys through my office and kind of pause along the way and just explain my gear. So let's check it out. So yeah, this is my office here. Uh, and yeah, let's just let's just pause right at the start here and uh, discuss the first the first big one here in the room, which is uh, my desk. Uh, it's from uh, sorry uh, from IKEA, and it's called the Hem Hemness, I think it's called, or the he Hemness. And uh, I didn't go with the typical one where you just get the flat one with the two metal pieces. Went with something uh, a little more solid, and I'm happy with it. It fits my three monitors, so it's good enough for me. And uh, and also you'll see in the video here the the, the chair is the uh, the lazy boy chair that I got from Staples actually and it's actually pretty comfy I, I actually prefer it to the Herman Miller one that I, I used to have back at my other office and uh, yeah I guess lazy boy you know they know they know chairs they know they know recliners and they know office chairs it, it seems so I was surprised just as you guys are uh, yeah continuing the video here uh, I think we kind of yeah as you can see the desk the chair and we kind of slip past the microphone I believe here in a minute. Uh, the Yeti caster, I believe it's called. It's a, it's kind of a little package actually. It comes from a company called Blue, and they they're very famous for making the the microphone, the Yeti microphone, which is is attached here, and that's the, the most important part of it. But the Yeti caster is like a little setup. Comes with the suspension arm. Uh, it's a little package. Comes with the suspension mount and also the uh, the arm here that you can use. Uh, yeah, continuing the video here. We uh, kind of slip past the the microphone, like I said, to the monitors. You can see I'm kind of checking out the matrix a little bit here, and we'll just kind of talk about the monitors as well. Uh, the biggest one in the middle is uh, the one I'm the most happy with since I've got. It's the 38 inch LG ultra wide, uh, roughly 4K resolution for being for the ultra wide that it is. It actually does HDR2, which can be cool for for games and stuff. Uh, that's my main, my main one that I do all my coding and stuff in the front. A lot of my browsers, my video calls. I uh, got this 30 31 point5 inch monitor it's only 1080p but it's it's my one of my my left one and it's not meant to pivot the way I, I do but I've kind of uh, rigged the mount to be able to pivot so it's uh it's been nice as well it's a little high pixel per inch so you kind of can see the pixels but it's not so bad and then on my right here I have a 24 inch monitor that I'm pretty happy with as well 1080p uh, low response time high refresh rate and I use I use those two for chat mostly and mail and stuff on the sides and just kind of focus on the middle one most of the time. Uh, yeah, continuing the video here, got my uh, camera is the next thing here. If we zoom in here on the camera, you might recognize that's the Logitech Brio camera. And uh, I'll just show you guys the the Brio. That was a bit hard to get during COVID. It's kind of busy for for cameras right now. It says sold out on their website. And it's a, it's a 4K camera, but my computer kind of struggles along uh, at 4K, so I've kind of been relegated to 1080p with it, which is okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the camera that you guys are seeing me on right now. And the microphone, as I said, you guys, are, that's what you're hearing me on right now. Got a little hue light in the background there. Uh, and this is the my keyboard, my Corsair wireless keyboard. As you see, I got a little ripple effect, a little blue ripple effect. It's got the, the B part of RGB, uh, is it only does blue. And uh, it's called the, the Corsair K63. It's a pretty nice wireless keyboard. You can also use it wired, which is how I'm using it. And it's a uh, 10 keyless, which means uh, it doesn't have the number pad on the side. Uh, I, I don't really use the number pad, so it was kind of fine with me. And then the mouse as well, which we'll show you. I'll show you here is the the Dark Core RGB Pro. Uh, that one is RGB, and this kind of cycles to different colors. And uh, it's also wireless that I use wired. Uh, they're part of a set, actually. This keyboard and mouse, and you can actually buy a little desk pad for it as well, a little lap pad. And it's kind of it's tar gaming targeted, but it's a mechanical keyboard, and I really like the feel of it. There's the mouse, like I was saying, do doing its RGB stuff, and uh, there's the monitors again, doing their matrixy stuff. Uh, if we kind of zoom out, uh, another part that I wanted to mention to you guys in regards to the the mouse and keyboard is a, is the mouse pad, which is also from Corsair, kind of got matching there, went with the Corsair MM200 cloth gaming pad the extended one and it's very comfortable actually and it's good it's good on the wrist so i like having it it's a nice uh, feature uh, yeah if we kind of zoom out further here we got we got a little view of the whole desk there i got mario jordi laforge in there and then we see the router that i have actually and that router is the gt ac53 from asus a uh, little octopus looking thing and it's a tri-bound router. Unfortunately, not Wi-Fi 6, but uh, it's it's pretty good for what I use it for. 
and I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, does the wireless for all, for our whole house, so that's that's pretty much all we need for it. And and then yeah, continuing its little brother here on the side is the this little white Telus orb thing. That is a uh, that's my internet. Uh, I actually have a Telus fiber right now. Oh, I don't have a link to it. But yeah, the Telus fiber is a nine forty by 940 actually and uh, I got a little speed test here that was the 940 940 about a month ago I, I took that speed test uh, with one millisecond ping which is uh, pretty nice and well we're just popping up pictures here I should also mention my computer that uh, that's running all this and kind of load doing everything right now it's got a RX 580 uh, i5 4690k processor 16 gigs of RAM uh, it's also got a Samsung uh, what is it the 970 I believe 970 Evo NVMe drive running on a PCI Express card there, and it's a de decent computer, but it's definitely due for an upgrade, especially with all the streaming and video recording I've been doing lately, and, and the RX 580 is pretty good for, for VR, which is uh, what I was kind of trying to show you guys here, which uh, I got the Oculus Rift that uh, that I use, and it's been pretty fun for some VR games that I've been trying to do, and I think I meant I show it at the, the end of this video here, if we look up here. Uh, yeah, I kind of just got it hanging out there at the top, and that's, that's the video there uh, for, for my gear, so. Thanks for seeing my gear, guys, and uh, if you like like my gear, please give me a like. If you want to see more videos about me talking about software development or computer stuff, please subscribe. Uh, i got a Saturday stream at 9 p.m. PST that I'm doing uh, where I'm building my React OS project, So, uh, and I'm doing it all on, on this setup. Uh, if you have any questions, or comments, criticisms, anything, please leave them in the comments. Much appreciated. So thank you guys very much for tuning in, and uh, see you in the next video. See you in the stream on Saturday. Okay, bye.